In this video, we'll be covering the BACnet IP driver, which now supports special properties in the schedule and calendar objects. This is for a version 5.15 release. The building automation and control network protocol BACnet is widely used in building control systems. In this industry, as in others, a communications platform like Kepserver EX is an attractive option. Data can be gathered from many different controllers, sensors, and systems used throughout the building and centralized in one place. Building engineers use calendars and schedules to control things like thermostat settings, lighting, alarm activation, and door locking, according to requirements from the business unit. Take locking doors, for example. During the work week, all facility doors should lock down after 6 p.m. and open at 6 a.m. The building engineer may program a weekly schedule in the BACnet controller to do this job. Compare that to when the plant is closed on a holiday so all doors should be locked throughout the day. An engineer would then program an exception schedule. Engineers want an easy way to be able to read and write these objects using their existing software. With Kepsa Reacts, a user can connect their current building automation software and systems and have access to editing and displaying calendars and schedules. Also, users want to be able to program these schedules remotely when they are away from work in case of emergency or if changes need to be made on the fly using their existing HMI or OPC enabled software. The BACnet IP driver for Server EX now supports reading and writing of these new properties for the calendar and schedule objects. Features include calendar properties, which defines a read-write date list for holidays or special events, schedule properties, which defines a weekly schedule of operations or an exception schedule, condensed string format for these tag items, which is how they're displayed, and automatic tag generation for these properties from the controller. Let's move on to a demo of these new features. First, I will show the configuration page for a KMC controller I have connected here at Kepware. The objects we will focus on in this controller are calendar and schedule. In the calendar object, I can see date list properties. In the scheduled object, I can configure weekly and exception schedules where the schedules each have a set of time value pairs. Moving to the configuration window for Kepser VX, I can automatically generate tags for these objects. In the configuration window, I have a channel and device created for the BACnet driver. The easiest way to get the scheduled and calendar objects from the KMC controller into Kepser VX is to first go into Device Properties and in the Database Creation tab I can Auto Create. But first I should really go into the Tag Import tab. In the Tag Import tab I can select the objects that I would like to generate from the controller. Here I can select Calendar and Schedule Objects. Now I can go into my Tag Database Creation tab. When I click Auto Create, I will see the, opti the properties of these BACnet objects represented as tag items in the server. The new tag items that were added in V515 are displayed here. They are date list, weekly schedule, and exception schedule items. Connecting the quick line to Kepser VX, I can see how the object data is represented. Note the value field for these items. This value field shows a long string which represents the compressed properties for the calendar and schedule objects. Let's look in the help file to understand what this long string of values represents. I see we have help for dateless exception and weekly string formats. If I go into weekly schedule string format, I can see that string formats are separated by comma delimiters and all the information pertaining to that weekly schedule are identified in these strings. We see that each value in the string corresponds to information on the time value pairs in the BACnet property. We scroll down, we see examples. So for example, Tuesday at 5.06 a.m., 
I want to do a value of an unsigned integer with the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So down in my string format, I see 506 AM, a value of 2, which is the data type, which if we go up, we can see that 2 corresponds to unsigned integer a value of 5 which relates to the length of the value field which is 1 2 3 4 5 and the actual value 1 2 3 4 5 and that constitutes the information for one time value pair those four fields to help with reading this string and parsing it so it can be properly displayed in an HMI window or in the building automation software, Kepler has included VBA scripts in the help file. Simply copy and paste these scripts into your HMI software where they may have a VB editor area. Here is an example of our weekly schedule string data being displayed in an HMI. I can look at the VB code associated with this object and I see the Kepler VB code that was in the help file used in this HMI to be able to parse the string information. Now if I run the HMI, I will be able to see that I can load the values and edit the time value pairs associated with that object. In summary, the new BACnet enhancements allow users to dynamically change calendar and schedule properties through CapServer EX. Earlier in this demo, I did this through the web interface for the KMC controller. But by using CapServer EX, I can bring the KMC controller information into the server, as well as anything else in my system, and see all the data in the same place. I can also use CapServer EX with any viewing software like the HMI I showed earlier through an OPC connection, or even to log information to a database using Kepler's ODBC connection options. Kepler serves as the bridge between BACnet and other protocols or software in this case. Thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to contact us with any further questions.